Welcome to this episode of Liberty Creek. On this episode, we're going to be talking about the cameras I use to make my videos and the editing software I use to edit my videos, okay? Now, if you are a subscriber to the channel, you know that this video is long overdue. There's countless times throughout my videos I am complaining about my GoPro cameras, okay? Now, I'll give you my 100% honest opinion about this. My kids um, bought me a GoPro for like Father's Day, uh, maybe a year before I started the channel, maybe two years before. And it's this one right here. <clears throat> it's the Hero, Hero Plus. I think this is like the Hero 3 Plus or something. It's an older one. Now this one here, um, you can put a different backing on it and it'll make it waterproof. And I remember the first time I had this, I went in the pool with it. It was awesome. You know, this is probably like, I don't know, five years ago, four years ago. It was awesome. Went in the pool. I was like, oh my God, you know, great quality underneath the water. Bad thing about this was there's no, um, there's no, you don't know what you're pointing at. You don't know what the camera lens is actually seeing because there's no viewfinder or anything. You just point and hope that you're getting everything that you want in the lens, okay? So <clears throat> that was the drawback. And when you put the waterproof um, backing on, the mic was so muffled, you can't hear anything, you know? Um, but it was really cool. I liked it. It was heavily advertised at the time as like, you know, the one that for sports, for roughness, and you could throw it around, people skydive with it. This is what I wanted, and I got it, and it was great. And then, what was bad about this, the only thing I consider bad about these old ones are, my son borrowed it for something, and this kid, he breaks everything. <laughs> and there's a mount, there's a, like a little mount that you could clip in, and you could put it on different things. Um, he snapped the mount off. Well, this particular camera, the case, the casing alone is like like vacuum foamed formed around it, and it's and once he cracked it here, the waterproofing is gone. You know, if I put this in water, I was afraid I was going to lose it because there's now a crack in it. So I really had no GoPro at that point. Then I started the uh, YouTube channel, and I was using this, and then my son replaced my camera he broke um, that Christmas, and he gave me the silver, um, the seven silver, and <coughs> excuse me. he replaced it with the seven silver. I, get, I got it. I was happy I got it, and I started to play with all the new features. And just like the other GoPro, one bad thing about this is the battery's internal. You you know, you run out of batteries, you're done. And usually you could get maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe 30 good minutes out of it, you know. Um, and then it, that's it. You have to charge it for however long. I don't know. I never calculated it. But you have to plug it in and charge it. This has one of the newer chargers. The old one had the old cell phone type style. You plug it in, you let it go. So I thought that was a lot better. Maybe it took a little longer to charge it. I don't know why they changed it. But anyway, um, so now this here, here's the issue. I lost the side door. I don't know what happened to it. So now this isn't waterproof. All right, if, if you see the video jump around, it's just because I go down a rabbit hole about one of these cameras and I decide to scrap it all and I jump back, okay? Now, if you're tuned in to learn about the seven, I have the silver. One problem I had about silver is within like maybe four months, five months of having it, um, I was somewhere and I wanted to videotape something. And one problem I always have, you pull this thing out quick and you try to videotape something and it, you know, it's very sensitive in the back. You'll end up recording everything crooked. Um, I don't know why it does that, but you try to bring it out, you're trying to videotape. So I was videotaping something and I stopped and I couldn't shut it off. 
I could not shut this off for anything, okay? This is like three, four months, and I used it only a handful of times. And I'm sure it cost my son over $300 for this little thing. So I was pretty mad. I couldn't figure out. I want. We were doing something that I wanted to get footage. Couldn't get footage. The thing was locked up solid, and you can't take the battery out. I took the memory card out. I tried to hold the button down. I did everything. Um, eventually, it died. The battery died out. Come home, put it on charge, won't start. Won't start up, nothing. So for a couple months, I tried all different things, went online. <clears throat> they suggest, you know, use the app to do this and that and this and that. I, I tried absolutely everything, and then I went and I called tech support called tech support they told me it's not on warranty no more blah 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 i told them i was like you know i used it like maybe 10 times and 300 something dollars out i used it 10 times what's the deal how can i get this thing reset I, I couldn't do anything so the guy pretty much when i called their tech support i don't know if i was calling a different country but they don't know about their product they have no idea about this product i'm talking to this guy barely understand him and I'm telling him what's going on, and he's telling me things that I just explained that I already tried because I was on their forms. And I went through troubleshooting online. I, t I think I text the GoPro people, too. Um, but again, they make you go, they're reading off cards. Oh, well, you have to do this, or I can't help you. Oh, well, go plug it in for two hours. I'm saying, that's not good, do not. I had it plugged in for like a week. It's not going to do anything, sir. He's just trying to get me off the phone. And my soul, you're telling me your product, $300 or more, and I got 10 uses out of it, and now it's done. Well, sir, it's out of warranty. You can pay to get it fixed and send it in. He started going on all this stuff. I hung up with him. I messed around with it. I kid you not. I, You know, these things are supposed to be tough. Take, like, falls from the sky and stuff. I got so pissed off, I took this thing and I spiked it right on my living room floor. It started to work. <laughs> I kid you not. It started to work. Since that day, it's probably been about a year and a half. Since that day, it's done it to me about two or three times. Every time, I just throw it on the floor. Uh, spike it on the floor and it starts working now i don't recommend you doing that because you know what you're gonna break it in a million pieces and try to blame me or something want me buy a new one if you want to bounce it off the floor that's up to you i'm not telling you to do that but that's how i fix my gopro because the people at gopro are clueless you know um would i recommend this no i wouldn't because what if i spiked off the floor it still didn't work i'm out 300 something dollars for something i used 10 times their tech support was the absolute worst, okay? Like they didn't know their own product. Now, what I am recording on right now is the GoPro 7 Black. Now, my son got me the silver, and when it was down, I was searching for another uh, camera. And I said, uh, I did all these reviews about the 7, everyone's saying how much better it is, um, than the silver because it has a stabilization control software and blah 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 and it's everything's so great about this and oh, man I didn't want to pay the money but I was like well what if I get a camera that you can buy extra batteries for it it's you could take the battery out put it back in okay um, it's got all great reviews everyone says how great it is let me get this camera it looks great the videos look great it's got the stabilization man i'm gonna i'm gonna do it so i saved up some money i went on amazon i bought it got it delivered like you know next day that was before covid and uh and when uh amazon had it, it's like you know next day guaranteed delivery loaded it up and gave it a try and very similar to the silver and I, I liked it. I was like, wow, this is going to be great. I went to the store. Um, I bought an extra battery. Well, all good things last a very short period of time for me because as soon as I went to go make my first video, the thing heats up so hot. I bet you right now it's hot that 
you know, I don't usually just rant and rave into the camera like I'm doing now. So I will go, I'll do a segment, I'll move it around, I'll hit record, record. I might have like eight videos on it, okay? But as I'm moving around, I'm like, wow, this is really heating up. And it was summertime. Next thing I know, it shut off. I would not turn back on. I put our battery in. Now I'm trying to do footage here. I'm trying to get get some stuff. We're still climbing. All right. So right now, the camera, I saw it say 115. That says 111. I don't know if you can see it. Let me try it one more time. One fourteen. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see. The camera right now. Oh my God, lighting's terrible. All right, the camera right now is at one hundred fourteen point two degrees. <clears throat> all right, to sum it all up in a nutshell, would I recommend people to get in GoPro cameras? It all depends on what you're doing. Okay, <clears throat> just be mindful that they're not reliable, and they advertise. Two people, you know, that do extreme sports, skiing, uh, uh, jumping out of a plane, uh, riding your dirt bikes, um, things like that. You don't get second takes. You're halfway through a jump and the thing stops or locks up or, you know, you're jumping out of the airplane and you missed the whole jump because your GoPro didn't want to record. For what reason? I don't know. Call tech support. They don't know either. They don't know their product. They, they have to read off cards and then tell you to reset. You just told them that you cannot turn on the camera. The camera is dead. And he wants you to go into the options and reset the camera. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? I waited on hold for 30 minutes for this guy that absolutely knows nothing about the product. Um, so folks, I would suggest if you're not doing anything too crazy, if you're just doing a YouTube channel or something like that, I've talked to a lot of successful YouTube channels and I say, well, what type of camera you use? Some people that have the money probably from YouTube because they're very successful. Um, they're using, you know, these, you know, $1,500 cameras and stuff. Um, I would break those, but most of them use this right here. They use a phone. Most of them use Apples. Not all of them. I've talked to them that use uh, Androids as well. And that's what they shoot their YouTube videos with. And I would recommend that because, uh, you know, you you can do a, these things. You, How many apps are out there? Hundreds of thousands. And this thing could do all types of things. That's why it kills me that I spend $400 or whatever it costs me for a dedicated source for video. And this thing right here is more reliable. So folks, that's my uh, bitching and the moaning. If you're a fanboy of GoPro, that's great, good for you. I hope they give you an endorsement. I'm saying this is my experience with my three GoPros and every single one has some type of issue that does not make it reliable. And it should be reliable when you're trying to capture a moment. All right. That's all I got. Subscribe. Thanks. Hope everyone has a good day. Peace out.